Alrighty, hello, hello, hello. This is Daniel with the Legacy of Daniel uh, podcast show. I don't really have an official name for it, but so far that is what I'm starting out with. And I'm going to start a new series with this uh, with that with this episode. And um, if you haven't already, I do have the Manifest Destiny uh, series or season of videos. Uh, currently just three. This is all brand new. Um, don't have a lot of views, but I am going to charge into this like I have millions of followers. And uh, so in this, uh, I guess, series or episodes of videos, I want to discuss uh, something that is very important to all of us, uh, very important to society, and is especially important if you are an individual that is seeking um, perhaps a higher calling, a purpose, uh, looking to uh, manifest their destiny uh, and be separated from the crowd, uh, not interested in this um, beastly, uh, chaotic type of worship or living, this hedonistic living, uh, but you want something that's a bit more graceful, peaceful, that's filled with joy and beauty, uh, self-determination, personal responsibility, problem solving, all good things that uh, competent, strong, individuals that want to be pillars in their community, pillars in their home, pillars in the in their in their corporate world, their business or whatever it is, and want to fulfill a vocation and ultimately have a unique identity or want to associate themselves with um, you know, another group identity or another individual's type of identity or legacy that their identity has uh, created, left behind. And so in this uh, series, I guess I'm going to just talk about um, reading and writing. And I'm going to kind of go through, I guess, maybe some of the things I'm doing, some of the things I'm reading. Um, I love to read and I love to write. Um, I'm actually creating different type of journals to sell, to hopefully uh, cultivate a new type of uh, yearning or uh, understanding around writing, journaling, uh, that can help reinforce this, this concept on the importance of reading and writing uh, and even speaking. And so that each individual can have their chance at cultivating, nurturing their own unique identity and manifesting a destiny for themselves. And so right now I am actually working on writing a novel. And this novel, um, it's my it's the first time I've ever really seriously taken on writing a book. I've always wanted to write one. Um, and I want it to be something uh, a bit a bit special, I guess you could say. And I want it to be something that is, uh, I guess the right word may be inclusive for all uh, readers uh, that are uh, from all walks of life can find um, enjoyment in this book, in this novel, and maybe in their own unique way, even find a way to associate with the characters, with the story, and hopefully help them cultivate, uh, maybe even seek out or clear a path for their own concept and understanding uh, Manifest Destiny. Um, this book um, that I'm writing uh, is something that everybody can do and should do, and everyone should take an opportunity, even if it's just uh, a short story, uh, a list of your journal entries, whatever it is. Everyone should have an opportunity to write a book and publish it and share their unique story, their identity uh, with the world. I think the more words that we have out there, the more stories and the more access we have, the better off society will be in the long run. In this story, um, 
you know, I'm really, um, like I said, this is my first time writing um, a book, a story, and my first time attempting to publish really anything. But what I'm just doing is ultimately I'm just letting my uh, creativity, my experiences, my observations, uh, and some very unique things that I've studied, and I'm bringing it all into this book and this concept, this idea. That is something that everybody needs to do when it comes to their identity, their destiny. And hopefully, um, if you do want to write or be an author or whatever, whether it's art or something else, music, you want an opportunity to publish it, you have to really step forward and make sure that you're stepping forward in your own courage, your own strength, your own identity, and not that of somebody else's or another group's uh, identity. It is one thing for someone to support you and encourage you. It's another thing to be living in another person's, uh, I guess you can say, bubble or image. Uh, it's very important to, uh, um, uh, it's very important to make sure that you are uh, chiseling out your own identity before you really take a step of courage into something uh, that requires a lot of self-determination, creativity, uh, and ultimately your own concept of understanding, identity, and manifest destiny. So what I'd like to do is encourage everyone to take that step. Take that first step in understanding yourself, your own creativity, and begin writing your story, a story that you wish to share with the world.